皆さんこんにちは。前の動画の最後、エレベーターが上昇していたの、わかりました。先ほどは、ネバダ側のパワーハウス内にある、発電タービンを見学して、エレベーターで、小窓のある階に上がってきました。後ろの組が上がってきたら、小窓のところまで行きます。小窓から一人一人見学なので順番待ちです。私はカメラを外に出して撮ります撮影時はどう撮れてるか分かっていません<笑>スマホを落としたら戻ってきません私のカメラは手首に紐を巻いてます
。もう一回見ますか。
And so when you think of all the stuff that they had to work with and the technology, these were used between 1933 and 1937. The seismic activity and the water pressure was the two main forces that they had to build and design uh, Hoover Dam to withstand. The rating for the dam is about an 8.3, so as we turn this corner to go to the staircase, watch out for this box. Inside is a live earthquake sensor, and if you accidentally can't get close it, can't be that person that has to touch something when someone tells you not to, uh, beware you could excite some folks in Denver, Colorado. <laughs> so uh, just be, be wary of that. Please remember that it is there. Okay. Now you have this staircase here. At this point, you are inside of the abutment area. On the back side of the staircase, you have these uh, tubes, if you will, or pipes that are going into the concrete, into the mountain wall where the abutment is. This is where water can seep out, and it flows down this side area down to the base of Hoover Dam where they measure that water, collect it, and it is measured from completely around the dam at 150 gallons a minute of seepage water. The staircase goes up about 300 feet. It goes down about 400 feet. It's 717 steps altogether, 717. It is immense, it is very vertical. I call this the stairway to heaven, this way the stairway down to the bottom of Hoover Dam. Okay, uh, enjoy your viewing pleasure. Try to imagine climbing these stairs while having stacks of lumber on your shoulders, okay? This is what the guys had to do, and this way is original staircase. This way is not, they had to replace this in the 1990s due to water corrosion. If you look down, you'll notice there's catch gates in case someone were to fall. So when you look at the difference, no OSHA, OSHA, okay? Take your pictures, come up here, and then cycle back this way so we can get everybody forward and through. No. To the elevators, I'm going uh, yeah. yeah. to get you guys ready. Let's go to the point. 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 トイレはありませんと、しつこいようにアナウンスされてたんです。それでは、もう一度、小窓からの景色を見ましょう。The stairs go down to the bottom of the dam. Literally. The literal bottom where uh, they were digging out the, mm, the very, very, the very close to it. You can't actually get to the true bottom of the dam, oh. even though there are tunnels down there from what I've seen. Uh, and the reason for that is the seepage water, as it's coming out, it basically makes its way down and goes wherever it wants to. So many of the tunnels that are at the very bottom end of the dam are actually fully submerged in about 20 feet of water or so, or close to it, okay? All right. How do you get to the, the top part when you can walk across? Um, as soon as I, I mean, get to it. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Are they better stairs than the one we just saw? 
There's no stairs up yeah. there. Oh, oh, someone <laughs> said I had to climb 40 steps. <laughs> just no. checking. No. Uh, that would probably be the staircase that's up in the visitor center to go up to the observation deck. Um, the reason for that is they're replacing the elevator. You guys did well. So did you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Everything, if you notice, a lot of the doorways and railings are all made out of aluminum. From what I understand, it was the first commercial use of aluminum uh, during that time period. How long yeah. have you been doing the tour? Almost three years. tell you a funny story about how when I first started here I thought it was just going to be a tour guide. I didn't really know what to actually entail working here, but it included learning about the electricity, learning about the concrete, learning about the engineering, all these things that I never really thought about uh, and such. And so uh, it was one day that I was doing a dam tour and this 14 year old kid looks at me and he goes, sorry, he goes, can you tell me about the crystallization of concrete? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> and I said, uh, sure. sorry. Yeah. <laughs> so that day I went home and I started reading all about concrete. And, uh, it's been a never ending research, learning, reading project, nonstop. Get to pass it on. Crystallization is the bonding uh, reaction that occurs when it's curing. What uh, is basically the calcium carbonate and uh, cement action in the concrete is what produces the heat. あ、終わってしまった。という感想です。この後、ビジターセンターへ戻ります。